In today class, I am going to explain about threaded binary tree. In the last session, we had a discussion on what is binary tree, what are the types of binary tree I explained. Strictly binary tree, then complete binary tree, then full binary tree, then extended binary tree. The threaded binary tree is also one of the types of binary tree which has not been discussed in the last class. In today's class, I will briefly explain you about threaded binary tree. Let me start. What is threaded binary tree? I move on to the next slide. Threaded binary tree is a binary tree in which null pointers are replaced by reference of other nodes in the tree. These extra reference are called as the threads. What do you mean it? Okay, what do you mean of this statement? Because generally, if node is having the null pointers, either the left null pointers or right null pointer, okay, those are reference to the those left pointer and right pointer, which are reference to the other nodes. Okay, those reference are called as the threads. In this example, see here how these has been connected, how these nodes, the null pointer nodes are referenced to the other nodes. Because a one node is having the left pointer and right pointer. The node is 5 having the left pointer and right pointer. Okay, the 7 node is having the left pointer and right pointer. Node is 9 is having the left pointer and right pointer. Like that, the 13 node is also having the left pointer and right pointer. How these nodes are referenced to the other nodes, okay, which is called as the threaded binary tree. But what is the use to connect those nodes, those nodes to the reference of other nodes? I will discuss everything in today's class. For example, this is the simple example of the threaded binary tree. Then what is the difference? Uh, normal binary tree and threaded binary tree. Okay, I will give you a good example with the help of today class. Here, generally, the threaded binary tree is a binary tree in which all left choil pointer that are null pointer which are connected to the in order predecessor and all right, point, uh, right choil pointer which are the null pointers which are connected to the in order successor. Okay. Then what is the meaning of that statement? The left pointer is pointing to the in order predecessor and right pointer is pointing to the in order successor. In this example, then you can see then how the left pointer will be connected to the in order predecessor and right pointer is connected to the in order successor. For example, here how it has been connected then how it has been connected, then how it has been connected, then how it has been connected, we will see. Because generally, there are two types of the threaded binary tree. One is called single threaded, one is called, what is called single threaded binary tree. The second is called double threaded binary tree. The example is also be given uh, double threaded binary tree. Because this is called as the single threaded binary tree, this is called as the double threaded binary tree. Then what is the difference between single threaded binary tree and double threaded binary tree? We will see in the next slide. See this example. The single threaded binary tree, then whenever the left pointer should be null, here which are the reference nodes of these null pointers? Then that is my question because what you have to do is the left pointer which will be connected to the in order predecessor. For example, the 13, okay, you take this 13, okay, what is the 13 in order predecessor? Then what is the 13 in order predecessor is 10 because the reference node of the 13 is 10 because which will be connected to 10. Got my point? Okay. Then when come to the what is called, it is also 20. Okay. The 20 is a left pointer is null. 
then which will be connected to the which node then you find out that node in the in order then 20 before 20 is what 13 13 is a predecessor then this node will be connected to the what is called node 13 got my point then after that node 9 what is the node 9 in order predecessor is 6 got my point then which node will be connected to the what is called node 6 okay here then after that the next the 5 here node 5 then comes to here node 5 here the node 5 there is no in order predecessor okay then some of the authors will uh, how do you say that if the node does not have the in order predecessor which will be connected to the root node okay then another way then how do you connect that node to the other node we will see in the next slide okay this is called as the left all left pointers which are connected to the in order predecessor then it comes to here here another example has also been given we go for the right null pointer for example if this is called the five then what is the in order successor at the time we go for the in order successor five in order successor is six okay this node will be connected to the six okay then after that then nine nine is having the right pointer is null then in order successor what is the nine in order successor is 10 okay nine in order successor is 10 then this will be connected to the 10 got my point okay then like that the 20 because the 20 is does not have any in order successor okay at that time what we have to do we will see in the next example okay those the first node does not have any in order predecessor the last node does not have any in order successor at that time what we have what we have to do we will see in the next coming slides okay then see here first how do you say that whether it is a single threaded binary tree or not then either we go for the left pointer or null po right pointer left pointer which will be connected to the in order predecessor and right pointer which will be connected to the in order successor got my point still if you have any doubt regarding this you may ask me at any time through the comment box then next see here double threaded binary tree. double threaded binary both right as well as the left pointers which are pointing to the in order successor and in order predecessor okay then what is the use of this one which are used to traverse in reverse order okay that is the use of the double threaded binary tree. because double threaded binary tree both we will use left pointer and right pointer left pointer should be pointing to the in order predecessor right pointer which point to the in order successor then we will see then we go for the what in order uh, successor or in order predecessor because left pointer five okay five left pointer left pointer means in order predecessor because five there is no in order predecessor okay we will see later about this then five right five node is having the right pointer is also be null then what you have to do five in order successor okay five in order successor is what six okay then the node five will be connected to the node six got my point then nine node is nine having the left point should be null then as well as right point should be null the left pointer is in order predecessor the right pointer is connected to the in order successor left pointer nine because in order predecessor of nine is six okay this will be connected to six okay then you comes to the right in order successor of the nine is ten okay this will be connected to the node ten got my point then what is the next one 20 oh, comes to the 13 13 is left pointer should be null 
okay then we go for the in order predecessor 13 in order predecessor is in order predecessor is 10 okay this node will also be connected to the 10 when it comes to the 20 20 in order left pointer should be connected to the in order predecessor what is the 20 of the 20 in order predecessor is 13 okay this will be connected to the 13 got my point then here it does not have the in order successor for first node it does not having the in order successor in such cases what we have to do okay got my point double threaded we go for the left pointer and right point both are connected to the in order predecessor and in order successor in such cases what you have to do in the first node itself does not have the in order predecessor the last node itself does not have the in order successor in such cases what are the reference nodes of these first node and last node we will see in the next slide see here in the double threaded binary the first node in order travels as no predecessor the last node as what is called no successor okay then in such cases what we have to do is then we can take a dummy node called header node we will represent the tree as a left subtree of this header node got my point then i will show you because the first node itself does not have any in order predecessor the last node does not have any in order successor in such case what you have to do is then we create the dummy node over here this is also called as what header node okay this is called as the header node it has header node does not have any data part header node does not have any data part okay this is called as the left pointer okay this is called as the left pointer this is called as the right pointer the left pointer see here the left subtree of this header node will represent the tree okay see here because the left pointer will be connected to this one okay then the right pointer of the node will be represented itself okay then what you have to do then this is called as what header node okay this is called as the header node header node does not have any data part which is also called as the dummy node then see here then how i connected to this node how i connect the left first first node and last node pointer to the header node see here i will give the complete example for the double threaded binary tree then first i will go for the 13 13 in order predecessor is what is called 10 because here the 13 will be connected to the 10 okay this is okay pointer symbol then after that then right 13 right node is having does not have the null pointer there is no problem when it comes to the phi the phi is uh, both left pointer and right pointer should be null the left pointer okay because phi does not have any in order predecessor then which will be connected to the dummy node okay which will be connected to the dummy node got my point then phi is on the right pointer should be null which will be connected to the in order successor that is for six is the in order successor okay there is no problem okay then after that the next one is nine nine in order predecessor is six which will also be connected to the six then after that nine in order successor is what is called nine in order successor is ten okay which will be connected to the 10 okay then after that the 20 left point should be null we go for the in order successor in order successor then 20 in order successor is what is called 13 yes then the left pointer should be connected to the node 13 got my point here the 20 is also having the right point should be null which will be connected to the in order successor but this node is does not having any in order successor which will be connected to the header node okay and then which will be connected to the header node okay okay this is called as double threaded binary tree 
because if the first node does not having the in order predecessor the right node does not have in order successor in such case what you have to do is you create the dummy node or header node okay before the root node then the left pointer can be represented as entered the tree then once you connected the first node itself will be connected to the left pointer of the header node the last node will be connected to the header node right pointer okay uh, this is the way uh, we can represent the double threaded binary tree okay if you still if you have any doubt you can ask me through comment box then next one what are the advantages of the threaded binary tree because once you designed the threaded created the threaded binary tree what is the advantage the first one is no need of stacks or recursion because there is no other data structure is uh, required to traversing the nodes okay that is the one of the advantage first advantage is that no need for a stack and recursion because there is other data structure is not required to traverse the all the nodes in the threaded binary tree okay traversing is very fast to compare with the normal binary tree got my point <clears throat> that is called that time collapse time complexity is order of one. then the second one is optimal the first one has completed the second one is complete uh, what is called optimal memory usage because why it is the advantage of the threaded binary tree is it decreases the memory wastage in the normal binary tree whenever the nodes left point or right point is null the memory is wasted okay no data has been there no no other node has to be connected to the left point or right point or the memory is wasted but whenever use the threaded binary tree then we can able to decrease the memory wastage how do you say that memory waste because in the small hardware memory point of view at that time the memory is very crucial at that time we go for the what is called threaded binary then time complexity is also very less okay because what is the time time complexity of the threaded binary trees if you want to find the next node order of one then normal binary tree, what is the time complexity is order of the height of the binary tree okay this is the another advantage when it comes to the next advantage of the threaded binary tree is then we can even traverse the backward way because forward is possible as well as backward is also possible in case of threaded binary tree. in case of full threaded binary tree we can able to traverse in backward way okay this is also one of the advantage of the what is called backward traversals and then it is also some of the disadvantages of threaded binary tree we will see then insertion and deletion it is complex to insert the data or delete the data from the threaded binary tree because which find out the node and which takes time consuming time consuming and highly complex process okay these are some of the advantage disadvantage of the threaded binary tree here in this session i explained what is threaded binary tree, how many ways of the threaded binary tree, the single threaded binary tree and double threaded binary tree how do you represent the single threaded binary tree how do you represent the thread double threaded binary tree everything has been explained with clear example then what are the advantages and disadvantages of the threaded binary tree then why, why because where uh, the threaded binary tree will be used because it case of the memory okay if the some system has less memory okay at that time you don't want to waste the memory in case of uh, instead of the binary tree we go for the threaded binary tree what my point then thank you thank you all for watching my videos